Henrik Bullock, better known as Big One, has been a household name in St. Vincent and the Grenadines for many decades. A son of the Mariacor Valley, he has been in the transport business for nearly half a century. Born in 1936, Henrik Bullock attended the Mariacor Government School and the Emanuel High School, then joined his father in the trucking business. I found myself working with the Danan Association, hauling bananas. I transported bananas from several buying points to the main depot in Kingston. In those days, we had to transport them to the port as well. Mr. Bullock didn't confine himself to the transportation of bananas. He contributed to the building of roads, schools, and other community buildings, as well as the transportation of passengers. I used to use my bus. In the, in, in, the, in the room of an ambulance many times. I was asked several times to transport so-called mothers or mothers-to-be to the Kingston General Hospital. I can also recall that more than one times babies were born in my truck going on, on its way to the hospital. Then the same thing applies to because of the scarcity of transportation. Whenever there was a dead and so on in the town, I was asked to, you know, several times to transport them, which I did. Henrik Bullock will be best remembered for the bus Temple Arch, which did the bulk of the transportation in the Mariaqua area in the early years. I operated this bus in the very early days. After that man whose name was Juan, he went down with buses. We came in with the Temple Arch line. And we did, we did real good service to the, to the, to the people. You know, there were times when things could have been very difficult, and things was difficult. But we tried to put things together and make things work, you know, mm -hmm. and, and so on. Uh, like I said, we enjoy doing it. Up to now, I'm enjoying it. Mm -hmm. The first Temple Arch was put into service around 1952, and immediately became the bus of choice of a wide cross-section of people. I was made to carry um, spiritual Baptists to several parts of this island. I don't think there's a place, there's a part in this island that I've never gone, carrying spiritual Baptists. I enjoy carrying them because the songs and so on, like the song, I used to sing it, you know, inside and so on. And I really, I really enjoy it, I really enjoy it. And the occasional trips to the beaches and so on? Oh yes, well, that was, that was a, a regular thing, taking passengers and excursioners to, to Richmond, La Sofre, and several other places of interest, especially on holidays like Boxing Day, with Monday, Easter time, and, and so on. It's real fun. It's what was real fun. I don't think the, the folks nowadays are really enjoying life as I think Almighty God had made it to be. <laughs> because everybody is, is proud, too proud and puffed up now. But we really enjoy it in those days, man, naturally. Temple Arch, like other buses at the time, performed a dual role because of the way it was built. These buses were built from wood, and they were so built, they, 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 they were made to accommodate seatings for sometimes 36, 40 passengers. And like I said earlier, the hood, of the, the hood it was made to be taken off. Automatically, when these hoods were taken off, the said passenger bus was used as a truck because, you know, you would have the, the, the necessary room and so on, and that's how, that's how the thing worked, you know. Temple Arch was taken out of service about 10 years ago because of the proliferation of a lighter and a faster kind of transportation. These minibuses have taken over the whole run. The big wooden buses, they are not um, much of a use again, unless to haul loads and so on. So I'm concentrating really on chucking, you know, hauling sand and stones whenever I'm asked to do it. Mm -hmm. Bullock has continued in the trucking business. People have come to expect a particular standard from him. The Bullock's load is a talking point for people in the construction business. We try to please people by giving people 
a, 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 a what we load for their money. And I have to say because people can see and people know because we try to satisfy them, we try to give justice, we are always considered. Mr. Henrik Bullock's dedication to his work and his willingness to help people make up a large part of his contribution to national development. His continued perseverance makes him one of our unsung national heroes. Go together, all you